arrived seven weeks later. From the beginning, Briar was different from previous shepherds Mary enjoyed. After hard work, Briar earned two obedience titles, CD and RM. Then Mary and Briar found their calling as a therapy dog team. Briar received the therapy dog certification on her first birthday, May 8, 2001. The rest is history. Mary came to realize how important her dogs were, becoming, how important her dogs were becoming in other people's lives in nursing homes, hospitals, and with children. They also participated in special events during the summer. Little did they know their lives were about to be changed. September 11, 2001, one of the darkest days for our country. Along with many of their closest friends, Briar and Mary were called upon as a therapy dog team. They thought they were being called to help the survivors, when in reality they were called to help heal the victims' families and first responders. When they arrived in vans, some personal and others donated, everyone wanted to help. Upon arrival, their vehicles were searched and ID had to be just right. At the family center, the Star Spangled Banner was playing as a hearse carrying urns with ash from the towers, moved slowly toward forward, led by two therapy members. They were called back time and time again, serving at least three times a week for unlimited hours per day. It was obvious as people smiled and reached down to stroke and talked to Brian. Therapy dogs play a significant and distinct role in helping humans overcome the most terrible tragedies. Briar and Mary are delighted to be part of the honor ceremony of the 100 year celebration of the German Shepherd Dog Club of America. Briar, 13 years, is a little slower, hard of hearing, and slightly long. Wow. But she still has the heart of a true therapy dog German Shepherd. This is truly an honor to be uh, here uh, to be part of this event and to uh, take this presentation. So, the certificate reads on this plaque Mary Minish and Briar. In recognition for your dedication, support, and passion for the families of 9 11. Therapy dogs provide a unique and necessary and special purpose. And that said, I would like to say on behalf of the German Shepherd Dog of America, my family, and my son Vince, who served three combat tours in Iraq. I want to thank you, Barry, and Dog Dyer, all the people in the United States who worked to support us, and the German Shepherd Dog Club of America who sponsored this event. Thank you. Anything else? I've been from the to go. Ellis was born in San Diego in October 2007. Michael was a puppy wizard who ultimately adopted Ellis because of an abundance of puppies at San Diego at the time. Ellis is a certified therapy dog who works at the, at the AI DuPont Hospital for Children in Wilmington, Delaware. And presenting is Dr. Carmen Batani. There was a statement made by an activist, and he said something like this. I want to thank you, my family thanks you, my country thanks you, and my club thanks you. There are two bad, two bad dog organizations represented here tonight. The first is Independent Sky Dogs, IGE, with Peter Pat Murray. Sorry. <laughs> John Morgan Murray from Independent Sky Dogs in Seattle, Washington, and Connecticut. <laughs> okay, sorry, that's the next one. IGD is a nonprofit organization dedicated to recovery to increasing independence of blind individuals. IGD selects only German Shepherd Dogs for their guide dog training program. IGD, under the kennel name of Von der Freiheit, is expecting a litter of puppies later this month out of two year old wild enemy von Sondhaus. Forgive me. I mispronounced. Pretty good, huh? Why not the Freiheit? Rabbi, German Shepherd Dog Club of America, member and breeder of marriage, Julia Priest. 
and some of you could not be here tonight, her look like literally lady with a bunch of letters after her. T D and other things. T D A S J O A O F E N R N is representing I G D. Lalia is being handled by her owner, Dr. Donna Murray Morgan Murray. She's operating officer of IGD. Don is a member of the Dream Shepherd of Hope America and has been on site all week competing in performance events with Lalia. Dr. Don Morgan Murray and Lalia. Thank you. Katie is the director of human development at the CMO. And as a native of New Jersey, she received her Bachelor of Science degree from Cook College of Rutgers University in 1982. Katie joined the CMO in 1983 as an apprentice instructor and remained as an instructor until 1997. She was responsible for supervising the apprentice instruction program from 1997 to 2007 and managed the puppy raising program from 2007 to 2009 when she took on her current position. She is responsible for genetics, the early enrichment program for newborn puppies at the breeding station, puppy development, the Washington Valley Kennels, and adoptions. She currently lives in Chester, New Jersey, where her husband is an instructor at the CMI, and their canine family, Feather and Feather. And then, Feather and Feather. Is that two guys? <laughs> Only one. Feather and Feather, in the Springer Spaniel, Spice, a flat-coated retriever, Sugar the Pug, and their seeing eye puppy Jake, a German Shepherd dog who's currently in training. The seeing eye incorporated is the oldest guide dog school in the world. Twelve times a year, as many as 24 students at a time, visit the Morris Down New Jersey campus to discover the exhilarating experience of traveling with a seeing eye dog. Since 1929, the seeing eye has partnered with people who are blind who seek to enhance their independence, dignity, and self confidence through the use of seeing eye dogs. Students who are blind or visually impaired come from all over the United States and Canada to spend up to a month training with a new seeing eye dog. This is Dorothy Eustace, a native Philadelphian, was, was the original driving force for utilizing dogs for the blind. The extraordinary success of seeing eye has both certainly fulfilled Mrs. Eustace's visionary point. Ladies and gentlemen, Peggy, Gibbon, and Jay. Can you see me? I agree this in recognition of the dedicated history offering support and years of outstanding dedication and service to the world. Thank you. You see this many heroes in one place very often. So how about a final round of applause for everybody?